Well, it turns out I have a little bit of time, so I might actually do this in a different order. And that is cooler time. So let me show you guys something here. Now this is already unboxed and my apologies. Uh, whoops, I threw out the, the box. But anyway, so what we got here is we have a series of four colors. Now there's be four videos to show you guys what comes in them and how to install them both AMD and Intel. But first, what we have up first here is, drum roll, the MA410P, 410P, I believe is what it is. So this is a $40 CPU cooler. It's supposedly based off the Hyper 212 with a more fancier fan. This is an air pressure fan. I'm actually um, thinking about <laughs> replacing which, uh, yeah, I only have two of these, so I have to wait to do it, but I'm gonna do the video first, and I'm gonna end up replacing my fans with these probably, but um, let me show you guys uh, what comes in the box, how to install them on both platforms, and stay tuned to the next video. So you're not gonna have the unboxing pleasure, but essentially this is what you can expect. You have a RGB fan here. It is an air balance fan. It has a four pin PWM, and it also has an RGB This can go into the header. Would definitely recommend getting Cooler Masters RGB splitter if you have a bunch of RGB fans. You do not get a second fan, but you do get mounting for a second fan. So you'll get two more of these guys. You'll get these um, anti-vibration pieces to put on and a set of four screws. So you will get that. And then you're gonna get a lot of other stuff. So this backplate used for Intel and AMD, just note, okay? So it says on the bottom side, AMD. So if you're mounting AMD, it has to say AMD on the bottom of the backplate. So it goes up like this. If you're mounting Intel, it'll simply go the other way. Intel is written across the bottom here. And it'll go like that. And then you have all the mounting hardware involved. There's a lot in here. I don't really wanna show you guys everything necessarily because you'll kind of see as we move forward. So. That's the unboxing experience. Let's go ahead, um, let's do Intel first since I have the board right here. So, fully transparent. I'm not using thermal paste for these installations. Just make sure you always put at least a pea size in the middle or the rice grain. So, a couple things to know, we're doing Intel first. So see how it says AMD on the bottom? See if I can show you that. That would imply that it would be like that. But since we need to flip it to the other side, it needs to face up this way. And it's actually very straightforward. There's actually these grooves here. And they go in like that. Oh, that's the, that's the AMD one. And we simply slide down all the way. So we're gonna do that four times. I'm just gonna do it in a cross pattern here for you guys. There we go. Now this supports pretty much everything. I'm not gonna show you guys LGA, like 2066 or whatever, or 2011 version for three. Yeah, we're not going through all that there. So another one here. Just like that. There we go there. And then the last one. Make sure it slides all the way down just like that. There you go. So that's how the backplate looks. And how this works is there's four holes here. They simply just mine, line up with these here. And what's nice is if you have a solid hard surface to put it on, it'll push these through. And what we have to do is you have to grab these round cylinders, there's be four of them, and they're simply going to screw on the top of these. So don't screw them all the way down yet. That'll be pretty much the next step. So but you wanna hand tighten them, you know, pretty much to the board. And again, you know, always recommend doing these in a cross pattern. Now in a case like this one, it looks like we messed up the top piece here. We're gonna make sure that's hanging up because that really won't affect um, the suction whenever we go to actually put the cooler on. The next step is they give you this really big piece that goes over these, and this is gonna be where you're gonna to wanna to screw this all the way down. 
pretty much so it gets tight. Definitely don't try to over tighten it. And now we can go ahead and get the cooler mounted. Now what you'll see right now is I have the essentially the piece that we're going to be twisting down here on here. The reason why is you want to figure out what the position is because we also want to try to implement the cooler like this. Now a couple things to note, there's actually three positions. There is up, there's side, and then there's kind of down in. AMD, um, I believe it's positioned all the way up. So we'll have to change that whenever we go to do the board. So at this point, you will put your thermal paste right here. A piece size would be sufficient. Let's actually line this up one more time so we know how we're doing it. Just like that is fine, cool. So then, since it's going like this, we're gonna wanna collapse it this way. That way we can feed it through the cooler carefully. Well, you don't wanna collapse all the way because you wanna be able to get this through. And then we will open this up one notch. And then we will line the cooler up. It looks like everybody should be lined up there. So we should be good there. I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see what we're doing. So it's important just to start them. Be very careful with that. You just wanna start them but you're gonna have to use a fair bit of pressure. And then once you kind of get them all started, we're gonna go ahead and continue turning these. they're all the way down and we're pretty much there I don't want to over tighten them but there's actually a hard stop just like that one okay I'm pretty much all the way there there's no reason to go all the way down and then you have the fan so we want to see how the fan is gonna run here so if we put it on like this, it's not gonna work. So what we're gonna wanna do, and I'll move this back, or move this up a little bit. We're gonna have to put it on this way. Now, some, sometimes if you have really tall RAM, you may have to remove the RAM whenever you go to do this, and then simply reinstall whenever it's done. And then that should go in there. And then you'll simply plug this in most likely looping it into the CPU header. And then in this case, do we actually have an RGB? I want to say maybe. I don't know if this supports RGB. It probably does not, which really kind of stinks for this particular board, but so be it. So that is pretty much it. Let's go ahead and see how AMD works. With AMD, it's easy. You'll actually see the AMD again on the bottom. And then you'll notice on the top, there's actually two spots to put it in. AM4 is the outer, AM3 is on the inner side. So we'll simply put this in. Just like that, we will take the AMD bracket piece. Simply slide it over like that. So we're gonna do that obviously three more times. So I have the piece slotted in there. And then, come on, there we go. Not sure how many times these are good to take off and put on, so I'll just have to be careful or remembering that. This is probably the fourth time this cooler has been mounted. One more, or two more here, so that one's in. And last one. Just like that. And then you'll simply, next stage is you're gonna have to remove the stock mounting. I'm actually gonna turn so you guys can see. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this. Never understood why some coolers remove the stock mounting, some don't. Um, 
my master liquid one or 240 does not it uses stock mounting as does the 120 so i guess it's just preference maybe i guess with tower cooler you also have to be careful you're more interested with the weight not necessarily with i mean you're interested with the mounting too but the weight's definitely probably a pretty big hindrance here so we'll find out how the other three air coolers handle this so we'll remove that and we'll simply slide the new back plate under just like that now just like before we're gonna go ahead and get these cylinder guys down here and hand tight's good just to start them and we'll make sure they're fully tightened here shortly it's got to make sure that the worn edge goes up top because apparently i've already have a worn edge so we are good there and then we're gonna go ahead and grab this guy again and get this mounted all the way down if you don't you start tightening it while you mount the cooler and it's not fun so now we'll get the cooler installed so just note for this part these seem to be on the outer edges as well which kind of makes sense and we're looking and everything lines up good so what we'll do is we do want to mount the cooler like this and this like that so we will collapse it the other way and then we will check the line up here and it looks like we are good so we're gonna go ahead and shift this over here so you guys can see got that one started that one started that one started so again I'm not gonna tighten this all the way down you definitely should you'll know there will actually be a, a pretty hard stop where it won't want to rotate anymore so keep going until you hit there and just like before this will slide on here just like that now note that this one's a little bit higher I'm not sure if you guys can see that's because the ram's a little bit higher again i'd recommend maybe taking off the ram ideally it's not really that big of a deal this covers the whole length of the radiator so honestly not really required and then fans in and then this does i believe have an rgb header somewhere well i do know it has rgb does it have the header i'm not entirely yes it does so i should show you guys what the rgb header looks like so it's that right there so this simply, now this is this specifically says LED CPU, so it's probably just for that. And there you go, she's on. So that is how you install the Kohler Master MA410 or 410P on both AMD, well AM4 and Intel LGA the 11XX we'll call it, 11.5X. So thank you guys for tuning in to this unboxing, sort of, overview, I would agree, installation, definitely, of the Kohler Master MA410P. We both looked at how to install an AM4 and LGA 11.5X is what we'll call it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask uh, the question in the comment. If you wanna know where to buy it, I think I should have a link for Amazon for you. If you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up. If you dislike this video, which, these kind of videos do really well for some reason, so I'd be surprised. But if you dislike it, go ahead and dislike it. You know, definitely do that. Subscribe, help me hit a thousand so I can make a little bit of money on YouTube again. Uh, but as always, this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions, and I'll see you later on down the road.